Two environmentalists, Stephen Warner and Mariah Stevenson, protested fracking at the Devon Tower in Oklahoma City. Uh, now, the company is known for expanding uh, the Keystone XL pipeline, and they're very supportive of fracking. That's how they make their money. So in an effort to protest their actions, they did the following. The activists walked to the second floor balcony of the atrium and dropped a Hunger Games inspired banner over the railing. It said, the odds are never in our favor and featured the series logo, a Mockingjay carrying a monkey wrench. Okay, so that sounds like the most boring protest ever created, right? But I, I'm glad that they're protesting a good cause or you know, they're, they're focusing on a good cause. Now, the crazy thing about this is because of their actions and because that poster had glitter on it, they are being charged with a terrorism hoax. So I didn't know terrorism hoax was even a crime, that I didn't realize that existed as a category. Yeah, you it, can't like call it a phony bone bomb threat, you know, or okay. a bone threat, either one. Yeah. Like, but nobody thought this was a hoax. I called it a few of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, nobody thought that like they were threatening people with the glitter, right? But yeah. so, and there's an outrageous part of this, so I mean this whole thing's outrageous, but there's an extra outrageous part of this in a second. Um, but. Uh, they, the thing about these guys is that they walked away. Like they did the glitter thing, they, and the a couple of the cops came. The cops yeah. came, and they're like, "You need to leave immediately." And they're like, "All right, we'll leave." One of them wants to finish her graduate school homework, right? So she's like, oh, "Whatever, I got other things At to do protest? anyway." At the protest, oh. yeah. Oh, so yeah. she's like, "All right, fine." They, the security wants us to go, so we'll go. Um, but it didn't matter because cops showed up and cops arrested them immediately. Uh, and then they went to jail. When they got to jail, they found out they were being charged with a terrorism hoax, a state felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison. So why this is happening, the reason why this is happening is because a lot of these oil companies and coal companies and, and, and you know, anyone who's in favor of fracking and, and depleting our resources has gotten together with authorities and told them, look, we're tired of these environmentalists. Why don't we start treating them like terrorists, right? And why don't we start prosecuting them for their completely nonviolent civil protests? So that, that's the part that really takes it over the top. Now, what I was saying is that the, there was people that are, were protesters that they had chained themselves to things. They were ready to get arrested. So, and, but these guys weren't even part of that group. They were just like, hey, we did the thing with the poster and the glitter, and we're going to go home and do our homework, right? And the cops were like, whoa, 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 whoa. So turns out TransCanada uh, has been uh, briefing police and the FBI on how to prosecute anti-pipeline protesters as terrorists. Yep. It's a, a group called Bold Nebraska, I don't know if that's a blog, uh, found the documents that indicate it. Isn't that unbelievable? That the, at a private corporation, and by the way, that's not even American, TransCanada comes to the American FBI and American police and says, now some protesters are bothering us, right? We're a private corporation. Uh, and we'd like you to deal with them, okay? Because that's now what this country's turned into, run, run by corporations. So they're the boss, they get to come into the police and say, yeah, now you'll arrest these guys that are bothering us, that are exercising their American rights, constitutional rights, First Amendment rights, you'll arrest them for us. Furthermore, we'll train you on how to charge them with phony terrorism charges, okay? And then they actually do it mm -hmm. in Ohio, Athens County Emergency Management Agency recently ha held training drills on how to uh, arrest environmental protesters, nonviolent environmental protesters, as if they were terrorists. Okay, so that's Ohio. In the the case we were just talking about, it's Oklahoma City, and uh, and you know the Nebraska found those documents about TransCanada. So this is, I mean, there's a word for when the state and business merges. And by the way, you knuckleheads who hate big government, right? Look, we don't like big government in so many different ways. We don't like the NSA spying in on us. We don't like government telling women what to do with their bodies. We're not interested in big government. But who do you think runs big government? Big business runs big government. They're the ones who donate the money to the politicians and then get them to do their bidding. So the JP Morgans of the world, et cetera, had Ray Kelly, the NYPD commissioner, shut down Occupy and they had Bloomberg shut down Occupy. Why? Because they run the police department. The people of New York don't run the police department. JP Morgan, Jason Goldman Sachs do. And in this case, we're, invite, we're arresting Americans for doing the, exercising their First Amendment rights because a Canadian company didn't like it and trained our cops and our FBI to do so. That is 
Unbelievable. There's so many stories, Jank, and I know you've changed your tune on this, but of like this is just if this charges, if these charges stick, right? If they pr go for the degree of prosecutorial misconduct. I mean, one reasonable prosecutor could make this go away. All I have to do is be like, yeah, I'm going to charge him with a misdemeanor uh, uh, invasion of you know a trespassing, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. then and, and disorderly. Public disorder, and they, they pay a fine, they pay $150, they get it on their record, maybe they pay $1,000. I don't know, maybe it's, it sucks, it should be annoying, right? And that's it, it's the end of this. But he's like, it was glitter, it took two minutes to sweep up, he apologized to the maid. Yeah. Like, like, but, but like even, that's it. Even a misdemeanor, I think, goes above and beyond. Like, I, they shouldn't have any type of charges, no misdemeanor charges, no felony charges, none of that. I mean, this is what this country was founded on. We're supposed to be able to protest. We're supposed to, yeah, and they did it in the most boring, peaceful way they possibly could. Well, they went up in their tower. I mean, they went into the, the, the company's tower and hung a banner you on the tower. You should have better security if you're concerned about yeah. people coming in there. I agree, but they expect to be charged with a misdemeanor. Like, that's it. That's one of, part of protesting, and then you're like, Ah, you know, <laughs> but I mean, so but, this, but, you know, but terrorism. This is exactly what I said when they passed the Patriot Act and the indefinite detention and all that stuff. I said, well, they go, well, this is just for terrorists. We're just yeah, going to, we're just yeah. going to tap your phone if you're a terrorist. It's only if you're a terrorist. Well, all they have to do is go, this guy's a fucking terrorist. Right. And that's it. That, they, that word you don't think Martin Luther King would be like called crazy. a terrorist today? Of course he would be a terrorist. That's why we had to tap his phone. That's why we have to throw him in jail. Nelson Mandela was called a terrorist He's a, a week terrorist. ago. Yes, yeah, that's right. They're terrorists. Yeah, so Malcolm that, X said by any means necessary, so, obviously a terrorist, of course, right? right? Okay. And they would have gone on and on. Look, so, uh, just yesterday we did the story of the FBI that can tap into your webcam and they turn off the indicator light so you don't even know they did and they can watch you in your home. But they say it's okay because they mainly use it in terrorism cases. Yes. And by the way, this apparently is under the rubric of terrorism, so they could use it in this case. Well, they were, pro, they were environmental protesters, obviously we had to see what they were doing inside their house. Right, we right. activated their webcam. On the other hand, just to play devil's oh. advocate, Glitter is super annoying. No kidding. Yeah, yeah I mean, it gets all up. in everywhere. I mean, that's yeah. why uh, Rip, Rip Taylor got, got banned from show business. That's right. I mean, people were sick of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick. sick of it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, he's in Gitmo right now, right? Yeah, he is in Gitmo. <laughs> yeah. With uh, with Metal Lark the Lemon. Right, with that cowardly commander. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember how they the Harlem Globetrotters used to do the glitter? Now terrorists. Right, right. They're terrorists. all terrorists. All of them. Yeah. I thought it was a bucket of water. That scared me. <laughs> now we got to put him in jail. Yeah. So, but that's exactly so indefinite detention. And then exp what happened? on the Chelsea Manning. My point is that we're all standing by in this country, shutting up while this happens left and right. Occupy Wall Street. We allowed them to get rid of Wall Street. And nobody stood up and said anything. Barack Obama let this all happen. We're all letting this happen. Because and it we're goes, watching Duck Dynasty. We are 14 watching. million of us are watching Duck Dynasty. Another 14 million are watching the Kardashians. Who knows what other bullshit there is on television. We're also distracted by crap. You know, and we're all looking for something to escape from. And we also have terrible mainstream media that doesn't give us the information we need to be politically active. So yeah, this will continue happening. I don't think anything's gonna change, which goes back to what I said last week, Cenk, which is I don't think that there's a tipping point for anything. I can't believe I'm about to quote Anchorman 2. Ron Burgundy says as he breaks through there in, uh, uh, at 24 hour cable news, he's like, no, don't give the people what they need, give the people what they want. And what they want, our uh, live video of car chases. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. what, they don't, what they don't want is a long explanation about how the Patriot Act goes too far.